and I now give the floor to the representative of Algeria. Thank you, Madam President. I thank also and the Secretary General, Rosemary Di Carlo, for her briefing. Algeria has flagged many times that escalation of tensions may only aggravate the death toll, as it called for more restraint and dialogue instead of confrontation. Algeria also expressed its deep concern about the exacerbation of the phenomenon of polarization that only contributes to prolong the crisis and raise the risk of escalation. And yet again, we are convening urgently to address another painful episode of civilians killing and the destruction of civilian infrastructure. No less than 28 civilians were reportedly killed by rockets targeting nothing but a bakery. How simple a routine act of buying food from neighboring market has become life-threatening. Military activities should never target civilians and civilian infrastructure. It is a violation of international law and international humanitarian law, and it is worsening the already volatile humanitarian situation. Algeria once again expresses it, its concern about the continued deterioration of the humanitarian situation and would like to stress the following. First, this conflict requires more than ever the mobilization of intense diplomatic effort to put an end to the humanitarian crisis without discrimination in treating human suffering. Second, it is paramount that all parties de-escalate hostilities and prioritize civilian protection. Third, it is also critical to focus on creating the conditions for inclusive and constructive dialogue in line with the principle of peaceful settlement of disputes. Finally, Algeria calls again for the intensification of international diplomatic effort aimed at achieving a just and lasting peace based on the purpose and principles of the UN Charter and the legitimate security concerns of all parties. I thank you. I thank the representative of Algeria for their statement.